World tennis number one Novak Djokovic is facing another three nights hold up in a detention hotel in Australia as he awaits his moment in immigration court. Border officials had rejected his coronavirus medical exemption and ordered him deported. They say he can go home anytime. But back in Serbia, his family have railed against his detention. This humble hotel is where superstar Novak Djokovic is clinging on to his dream of becoming the most successful tennis player of all time. Refusing to leave Australia after his stay was denied, he is now sharing accommodation with asylum seekers. In his home country, Serbia, anger over the treatment of a national hero has reached fever pitch. Djokovic's father gave voice to the national grievance at a rally in front of parliament. They want to keep him not only in custody, but in jail. Until Monday, think about it, until Monday they want to keep him. The best sportsman in the world, in jail. At a family-owned restaurant in the capital, Belgrade, Djokovic Sr. drove home his message. They're holding our Novak, our pride, in captivity. Novak is Serbia, and Serbia is Novak. By humiliating Novak, they are humiliating Serbia and Serb people. Back in Australia, the government is keen to dispel any notions of victimhood. Mr Djokovic is not being held, held captive in Australia. He is free to leave at any time that he chooses to do so and Border Force will actually facilitate uh, that. The tennis star had followed regional guidelines for an exemption to Australia's strict COVID-19 entry rules in order to take part in the Australian Open, a tournament he won last year. But that exemption was denied as being valid at the airport. An exemption by the Victorian government to play tennis in Victoria is entirely different to any exemption or entry requirement for Australia's purposes. In the meantime, Djokovic is stuck in his hotel, waiting for his appeal to be heard next week. The stakes are high. If he wins this legal standoff, he will get an opportunity to win the Australian Open and a record 21st Grand Slam.